In this video, I will show you how to log on to SAP system using newly created client in previous video. So let us go to our SAP system that is SAP NetViewer system and it is already logged on. Just log off from the system using system and log off and click S here. Now just open SAP logon program and double click on the system in which you have created new client that is DIS I have created in previous video just I have to use the same system to log on to SAP system just double click on DIS and the client which I have created in previous video is 999 and newly created client will have the default user called SAP star SAP star and the password of the SAP star is PASS hit enter and this is the known problem known problem means it is known setting name or password is incorrect repeat logon that means the password of the SAP star is same but the automatic SAP star profile parameter is not at being enabled means it is enabled that means one is assigned that means the automatic SAP star user will not be useful to log on to the newly created client and this is made for security reasons so first of all let us deactivate that option using profile maintenance so let us log on to the system using triple zero or double zero one client so that we can make that change you can use any of the default user that is ddic or sap star to log on to the system to change the profile parameter and to change the profile parameters, the T code is RZ10. Hit RZ10 and open the profile name that is using this possible options button. And the profiles are not found here because it is freshly installed system. You have to import the profiles using utilities, import profiles of active service. So that all the profiles will be imported into the system level just click on possible options button again and double click on default profile and select extended maintenance click on change button and these are all the different profile parameters available but the profile parameter which is required to set now is not available here that's why you have to click on the create parameter button from the application toolbar to change the parameter which is related to SAP star click on parameter and from here hit F4 from your keyboard or you click on possible options button to search for the profile parameter so to search for the profile parameter you can click on this small arrow mark that is triangle shape uh, button to expand it so once you click on that it will give you the option to enter the parameter name just enter the parameter name using wildcards like this sap star sap star so that particular parameter will have this particular sap star name so that you can view that particular parameter just click on start search so that it will display that particular parameter what is the parameter login slash no underscore automatic underscore user underscore SAP star double click on it and the profile this particular profile parameter value is one one means it is it is not it will not allow you to log on to the SAP system using newly created client no automatic user SAP star you have to change it to zero okay so click on copy and go back click on copy go back click on save 
and incorrect parameter values detected display values question mark save profile information box will be displayed there you click on no and then do you want to activate the profile click on yes so that the particular profile will be activated and it will be used when the system started next time just click on continue and click on continue and log off from the system and restart the SAP system from SAP MMC that is this this one right click and click on restart so that the system will be restarted with the newly newly changed profile that is default profile in the default profile the parameter has been set to zero that is SAP star parameter so let us wait for some time so that it will be restarted once it is restarted we can log on to the newly created client using SAP star and pass password okay SAP star is defined at kernel level it is not available in the database okay Okay, the SAP system is completely started. Now we can log on to the system using newly created client. So that is double click on DIS to log on to the system. So what is the client? Triple nine and username is SAP star and password of the SAP star is PASS that is default. So now it will log on to the system. So this is the process of creating new client and then log on to the system using newly created client so from here you can execute any t codes there is no restriction in executing t codes that is full authorization this sap star user will have full authorization it this particular user can do anything with the system that's why for security reasons that particular parameter no automatic sap star user will be disabled in the system for security reasons so that's all i hope you understood how to log on to the sap system using newly created client thanks for watching I, and if you have any questions on this video you can leave your comments under this video or you can also go to my website that is www.punarvasi.com and leave your comments there or you can use contact us page to contact me directly. Thanks for watching.